David, first of all, um, international break last weekend as well. What's this week been like for you? Uh, obviously without the, the manager as well. Uh, it's been a good week. We've kept it rolling. We've um, we've just done the same. Uh, we've liaised with like Richie. He's been speaking to Duncan Curley, youth team coaches, and we've just kept it going. What we would have done, um, you know, there's some experienced lads in the dressing room who can like lead things on really, and um, and help out and, and just keep things going as they were. And so it's been a good week. The lads have trained hard, and no one's had to really stop training or step in and look at people's attitudes because everyone's attitude's been spot on, and it's. Uh, that's been really good to see. I spoke to I think Graham Shinney, but whilst Terry was in negotiations with him as well, Hibbs as well, and he hadn't experienced anything like this before in terms of a change in, in managers. But you know, I'm assuming you've you know seen a few managers uh, yeah. come and go, so you kind of know what happens during that period. Yeah, I've, I've had managers being sacked before, mm -hmm. but never obviously one that's gone when we're doing so well. Um, so that's the big change for me, and that is that is a first for I think everyone. Um, the managers left when we were like second in the league and then semi-finals and cups and stuff. Uh, so it was a surprise and it's it's dealing with that and then just getting on with it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like, you know, as I say, just rolling it on and, and keeping going and, and see where we see where we end up and hopefully the people upstairs are going to get a manager in sooner rather than later. I think there's going to be a point where we're going to need decisions making. There's only so far we can take ourselves. Um, so like, I don't know what to do. We, we'll be the last to know, as always. I mean, as you as you said off mic, people from the outside in might think it's a bit strange that you've gone well, two weeks without a manager. But yeah. the, the the close knit group that you've got here, yeah. it's no surprise to you. You know, you can just carry on, as you say, for for a, for a limited period of time. Well, that's it. Yeah, and anyway, it's brilliant. We've uh, we've got a great great leader in Richie there, and and, and Kel and Dunk have been doing brilliant jobs taking us training. Um, but you need everyone else to to put in the effort, and you need everyone else to keep the competitiveness there. And, and it has been there. And it's been. It's, it's been really professional, actually, to see, and um, yeah, it's, it's fair play to the lads because they're just showing how professional they are, really. And it is the jobs, but sometimes it's easy to step off it and, you know, become a little bit like well, blase about because there's no manager there, stuff like that. But the haven't, and it's um, it's been really good, yeah. Um, and it just shows what the lads are all about, yeah. And I think it's probably one of the big reasons why we're up here. There's no superstars here, mm -hmm. and had there been any superstars, then we might have been, you know, saying something different today, but. It's been good. St Johnston this Saturday as well, and I bet you're just desperate to, to go out there and, and get playing again. Yeah, definitely. I think everyone is. Yeah, it's been a long break. I think the, I think we've had this is one more international break than last year, is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but there seems to be quite a few, and I think the lads just want to keep going and, and playing because um, there's only so much you can train like without having a goal at the end of it. So yeah, everyone can't wait to get out there. Yeah. And for yourself personally as well, you've been out of the team for a few weeks now as well. Uh, you'll be desperate to get back in, but you might have a, a, a fight on your hands because yeah. Carlo and, and Graham have been playing in the full-back positions. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I think it's only it's only healthy and it's only fair. You know, they, they play and play well. They, they keep the place, and I've got to understand that. You know, I've missed a couple of weeks, a couple of games, um, and you know, we're second in the league. I don't expect to just go straight back in. The lads have done well, and I've got a fight for my place, and that's it. A new manager's going to come in, and you've got to impress the new manager. And, uh, that's what football is all about. Like, uh, it keeps you on your toes and it keeps you fighting. It keeps you fit, and you just got to get on with it. Everyone wants to play, and there's only 11 people who can. So, um, that's why it's a good fight. St Johnston this Saturday as well. Um, traditionally, there's not a lot of goals uh, in the fixtures, but there were in October. St Johnston beat Cali this so four 0 You'll be looking for a bit of revenge. I'd say so. Yeah, um, they'll come here like full of confidence because of that. I think it'll be a different game up here. We had like just a massive off day that day. Um, by all accounts, so I mean, yeah, the lads are really looking forward to it, you know, getting stuck in and, and uh, yeah, a little bit of revenge, I suppose, yeah. As you said, that you're kind of looking ahead almost, you know, the new manager might be looking on, who, who knows, yeah. uh, on Saturday and, and in the future as well. I think Steve Marcelli even said it yesterday when he said that whoever comes in in terms of new manager's got a great kind of early Christmas present, a great squad to work with, and, and really good things are happening for the club at the moment. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and I think I think obviously a manager will come in and get have new ideas and things like that. But it won't have to change too much in terms of like, you know, where we are like as uh, as a group and how we, how we like the balance and, and the chemistry in the group and stuff like that. I think I think that's fine. Obviously, we'll want to change things maybe the way we play or whatever it is, and that, that's fair enough. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh, it's just a case of keeping it rolling on, and and uh, it is a good group of lads, and it's the best group of lads I've worked with, and I'm not sure many other clubs. Would have had the same work ethic and same um, level of training that we've had the last two weeks without a manager, and it's all credit to everyone. 
Cheers, David. Thanks for me. No worries. Thanks for